I don't know where to begin with this. So, this has been a hell of a journey. I, I, okay, so I guess I'll start from the beginning. Well, for those who know or don't know, I'm moving to Japan uh, to become an English teacher. It's the easiest way to get a visa, and it's something that I've been trying to do for a while now. And um, I left yesterday or the day before. I don't know. I lost track of the time zones. Uh, so much has happened since then. But I went to the first airport, and I, um, oh my god, my left eye hurts. Like, it stings. Don't know why. Um, but yeah, I went over to the first airport to, to do my luggage stuff, and... Uh, I am a computer tech, so I didn't want to leave my computer behind, so I basically took it apart and put it in one luggage thing, which uh, struck some crazy suspicion, uh, which ended up getting me pulled out from uh, from the main line, and I got basically felt up in depth, like in depth by TSA. Like, I kid you not, the dude like uh, took his hands, shoved it down the back of my pants, uh, shoved it around the front of my pants, like all up the legs. Like, I even felt my freaking right testicle bounce while the left one had no idea what was going on. Uh, but oh, other than that, that was like the first flight that got me from Florida to California. Now, hell breaks loose after I left uh, California. So I get on the flight, uh, which was supposed to be 15 hours, right? And, uh, well... It was more than 15 hours. So we are going through, we make it like 99% of the way there. And all of a sudden, the plane makes a U-turn. And I'm like, I'm, I'm watching this on the live feed of the little TV thing. Um, and I'm like, wait, what are you doing, plane? And no one says anything. Like, the plane stays quiet, right? And, uh... So, I'm like, is it glitching? Am I, uh, is it going to turn back around? Is it circling the airport area? I don't know. Um, and so I made the U-turn, and it's been flying for about 30 minutes back in the opposite direction. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Uh, long story short, I get they uh, go on the announcement saying that the weather is uh, pretty bad. So, they're going all the way up to Beijing, which I'm, I'm right now, I think I'm in like Guozhuang or Guangzhou. I, get the, I don't know. Um, so they fly over to that other airport, which is two and a half hours away. Or actually, no, it's almost three hours away. And I had a connecting flight, you know, the one that goes from Guangzhou to Osaka, Japan, which, uh, there's a three hour time period in between. And, uh, well, because of this, um, you know, the, the, the decision to go to Beijing, uh, I missed my flight, right? And... It gets way worse than that. Like, it wasn't just simply missing the flight. Like, the plane lands, um, and not only does it land, but we can't leave the plane. Like, we can't go around Beijing Airport. We can't do anything because they want to uh, go back in the air to go back to Guangzhou. So, long story short, I'm saying long story short a lot, aren't I? Um, anyways, what happens is we end up sitting in that plane for about five to six hours in a non, this is a non-stationary plane. It's just sitting there on the runway, and we're just sitting there, wasting time, like about five, six hours, right? So, after that, the plane takes off. Um, overall, when we get to Guangzhou, we were in that plane for approximately twenty-two hours, and I was straight up pissed at this point because one, I missed my flight. Uh, to Japan, and my company is supposed to was supposed to meet me at the airport, and then, um, well, obviously I'm not there. So, you know, my first reaction is, okay, let me try to contact them. But, guess what happened? My phone that works in America, and it works in Japan, it works in Canada, South Korea, Australia, it doesn't work in China. So I was like, oh, Christ. Right? So... Um, I couldn't uh, do anything, uh, I, until I eventually found a stranger that let me tether off their phone, and this is where the hard part hits me, because one, literally any, any form of communication is blocked here, and it pisses me off, 
because I couldn't do jack squat. Like, I found out Google is completely blocked here, and with Google comes Gmail and YouTube. Uh, they're com completely blocked. Those are two forms of communication that I use. Uh, Gmail a lot for my, um, you know, my business. That's, that's how I'm primarily contacting them. And then YouTube for you guys and the people who want to watch, you know, my friends watch my videos too. Uh, or they pity me, uh, so they watch my videos. And, you know, they would be able to see that I'm freaking trapped here, right, in China. And um, I couldn't access those, so I hopped to Facebook. Facebook is blocked here. I hopped to Twitter. Twitter is blocked here. I try to get on uh, the app called Line. It's blocked here. Literally every freaking thing is blocked here. And because I don't get cell phone reception, I can't make calls, I can't do text messaging. And then I remembered finally that I can do iMessage. Well, at least I didn't know I could. I found, I tested it, and I can, I can do it. Um, I don't have Wi-Fi anymore, because I was only at the airport, and uh, the apartment does come with Wi-Fi, but I can't figure out how to get on it yet, so I'm probably not going to be using it. Um, but yeah, I ended up uh, messaging my friend Matt, forwarded him over the information so he can uh, explain that basically the airplane uh, company screwed up uh, my flight, everything. It's been rescheduled, so I'll be leaving tomorrow morning at like 6 a.m. Uh, to Japan, but, like, luckily, I'm, s like, seriously, guys, it really pays off to have an insomniac friend, like, make sure your closest friend never, ever sleeps at night, because it'll freaking pay off, like, I owe you one, Matt, um, I'll make sure to send you some, something from Japan, um, probably from an adult store, I don't know yet. But, yeah, like, he's he's basically, I gave him my itinerary, I gave him the email addresses of my companies, and I gave him the phone numbers, so he's going to be contacting, he's going to be contacting them for me, so, uh, that's one, one less problem, um, but now, like I said, um, going back, like, this is 22 hours, and, uh, my god, my nose is suddenly getting plugged up. <clears throat> okay, so it's 22 hours, right? And now I'm stuck in this uh, hotel, which is ridiculously nice. Um, so I'm not too upset. But, like, this is my first job out of Jap Like, my first job out of college. And to not even show up, I feel like I'm going to make a bad first impression. But this is something that's out of my control entirely. Um, but, yeah, like... Uh, the list of bad things continues to go on. Like, as I, uh, well, one, language barrier is a huge problem here. No one here really understands English very well. Uh, and usually I try to hop to Japanese, but of course no one here speaks Japanese. So I'm basically screwed, is what they like to call it in English. You know, uh, yeah. Um, so now, that basically brings me up to here, which is, I'm in the middle of nowhere, China. Um, I don't want to leave my hotel, because I don't know what's out there. Um, my cards, I don't think I can use them here, because I never had them signed here, and if I use them, they might lock out on me, which I don't want to do. And, um, I don't have any Chinese currency, so I can't really buy food. So, Yeah. Oh, that reminds me, because we were in that airplane for 22 hours, they ran out of food uh, about halfway through that, um, or like three-fourths through it, so like I haven't eaten at all in like a day and a half, and I'm not going to be eating for the rest of the day either, uh, so basically I'm going to be getting to Japan um, with two, uh, going two days without food, and um, what's going to suck is, I'm hoping to God they don't do this, but... Tomorrow is supposed to be my first official day of training. You know, today's check-in, tomorrow training begins. I hope to God they, they don't say, okay, you are now, we're, we're, you're going straight to training. Like, we're throwing you in there. Um, because that's going to suck. Because I would literally just be arriving, going to train, and I'm friggin' starving. Like, holy crap. Um, but yeah, I can't do anything about it. You know, I tried my hardest to uh, fight for a an, uh, another plane ticket that would leave around like four or something, but it just didn't didn't line up these stars. 
So now I'm going to be coming in all scruffy and, uh, yeah. <sighs> oh, that's, that's it for this video. Take it easy.